and local relief efforts began here about a week ago, and now Bostonians are answering that call for help. We need this. Yeah. It's been just three days, but Katya Malakova's front porch, and now her garage, is filled with medical supplies like latex gloves, ibuprofen, bandages, anything to help families that have been affected by Russian attacks on Ukraine cities. I appreciate how far people go um, with their connections, you know, like they now are reaching out to very large pharmaceutical companies, to hospitals, and they're actually trying to help us on a bigger scale. That larger scale will likely be a tractor trailer filled with supplies by Wednesday that will head for New Jersey and a flight to Ukraine. There's an estimated 10,000 Ukrainians living in the Boston area, including 17-year-old Sergei Nikulin. He's here to play hockey and get a college education, but the events in Ukraine have him thinking of little else. Already in my city there are some tanks, uh, there is some Russian uh, uh, soldiers uh, there, so it is, it is a big nightmare for me seeing that in the news. Ukraine. Ukrainians here and back home say they've been bolstered by the worldwide support of Ukraine and its people. Thousands took to the streets in Boston yesterday, and Katya Malakolov says she hopes to join the next one. That's incredible, and uh, I hope that uh, next time we meet at the rally, we're going to celebrate, you know, the victory of Ukraine. This reminder, local relief efforts don't include food or perishables as those are being provided by countries like Poland and Romania. But if you'd like more information about local relief efforts, you can go to our website, WCVB.com. Reporting live in Jamaica Plain, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB News Center 5.